Good morning. Welcome to Live for Five with Pastor Ben on this Reformation week. Uh, This is a fair warning. Pastor warning. Anything you say or do could be used in a sermon. Good to to keep in mind. Just, you never know. You never know. I've told my kids this, too. Um, So, that... I don't know if this is going to theme the week in Life for Five, but it it seems that there's a a theme potentially brewing in the verse of the day for today um, in Psalm 59, 16. You know, every now and then when you pull up the app, it says, do you like the Bible app or not? Um, If you say yes, it just moves on. But if you say no... It prompts you to say what you'd like to see changed. I like it. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not mad about the the Bible app, but I I say no so that I can give comments on how I wish they would go a little bit deeper into uh, picking texts, um, because it's just not that uh, they, they repeat. I think every 365 days, which I'd like to see. There's, there's a lot more variety in Scripture than to only have 365 days worth of verses. So, anyway, uh, grab your go juice and uh, we'll get started. Always a fair warning, pastor warning. Anything you say or do could be used in a sermon. My kids hear this every now and then. I've never said that to them, but uh, sometimes I always ask permission. I I I always ask permission if I can use a, a story in a sermon or an encounter. Um, Let's make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. If you pull out the YouVersion Bible app, our verse of the day is from Psalm 59, verse 16. But I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been to me a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. Now, this is wonderfully comforting. But there's a question that arises simply because the verse starts with the word but. So what what is he reacting to? It sounds like there's this juxtaposition of now this is what he's going to do, but this thing over here seems pretty bad. So what's that beginning thing? Well, it sounds like David's enemies are spending the night outside his home. And in spite of the fact that his killers are spending the night at his home seeking to extinguish him, David declares in this verse that he will sing of Yahweh's strength, which will protect him through the night, so that he can give a ringing cry about the Lord's loving kindness in the morning. The Lord's strength and loving kindness are manifest in this verse as David takes refuge in the Lord in his distress and finds the Lord to be a high place, removing him from the reach of these men seeking to kill him. The content of Psalm 59 reminds us that We have not escaped the problem of enemies and their evil work in human society. In this psalm, um, those enemies and those seeking to do evil are called dogs, prowling about in our communities and towns as they did in the ancient world. Dogs, which embody the devouring... um, malignant person and forces in human affairs. So this psalm brings to the fore this matter of of attitude towards enemies in harshly in this harshly worded prayer. The enemies are dealt with in the context of faith in Yahweh's supreme justice and taking refuge. And Even though, and we're going to get to this on Sunday, even though Psalm 46 is the primary inspiration for uh, 
Luther's A Mighty Fortress, you, you definitely can see that he, he's pulling from all over the place when he writes, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper, he amid the flawed of mortal ills prevailing. That's, that's what's going on here. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love despite all this other stuff. For you are my fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. And then it's so fitting that this psalm actually ends with the, the, the word chesed, this loyal love, this steadfast love. A word which conveys the faithful commitment of God to deliver and protect his people. And this is exactly what we pray for. I, what, for whatever it is that you are going through, this is, this is how we then deal with this as Christians. I encourage you to go and read all of Psalm 59 um, when we're done. Uh, David is surrounded by enemies. You may be surrounded by um, tempting circumstances, tempting you to not trust or turn to God's continual loyal love and this is a wonderful hymn uh, that encourages us to turn to God in confidence and in trust let us pray O oh, mighty fortress our trusty shield and weapon deliver us from the snaps and snarls of our enemies those things that would tempt us elsewhere and let your people no peace amidst strife. We pray this in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. So I, I kind of hope that they are going to have a, a Reformation theme this week. It looks like that's what this is leading up to um, our Reformation celebration on Sunday. But we're going to spend more time about on that Um in worship on Sunday, this little guy right here, Martin Luther, uh, Playmobil, might make an appearance. Um, but blessings to you in Christ. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. We'll see you soon.